Well, out of control. Right now, Baltimore is seeing some of the worst violence in the city's history. The second highest murder rate ever in the first four months of the year. Now, the mayor has pleaded for federal help, and now that help is here. WJZ investigator Mike Helgen is live at City Hall to show us the new ATF mobile gun lab used to trace gun violence. Mike? Denise, illegal guns are a huge problem in the city. When someone fires a weapon, each casing, you see some in this picture, they're like fingerprints. And police are hoping this new van, this technology, will help them to connect the dots in gun crimes. WJZ investigations have exposed a surge in illegal guns fueling murders in Baltimore City. Killings are out of control at the highest pace in Baltimore's history this early in the year. With city leaders desperate to stop the bloodshed, the ATF is bringing in this van, a first-of-its-kind mobile forensics lab that can help connect a gun to its shooter. Special agent in charge, Daniel Board. Before they even get out on bond, before they get out on bail, that we've got that lead that we can then investigate and then hold them for further investigation. And this is the first time it's been used in a major metro area. And, and this is anywhere in the country. Bringing in weapons on the black market and selling them to gang members is a lucrative criminal enterprise in Baltimore. Now, instead of days or weeks, police will be able to trace guns within hours. That's a game changer. It connects ballistic evidence with known offenders. The first time it's ever been in a moving apparatus. The chief of the ATF's firearms division shows WJ how they test fire weapons found at crime scenes. Once we take a recovered firearm, we're able to stick it into the snail trap, discharge the firearm, whereby we can get an exemplar from this particular firearm. Casings are analyzed and the results could connect one murder to others. It tells you definitively what gun has been tied to what homicide. The van will only be used on a limited basis now through summer, but with powerful weapons common to war zones on city streets, police hope they can build stronger cases against those using Using them to kill. It gives us a huge advantage over this, this, this criminal element right now that's way too violent and they're, they're way too emboldened. Now, last week, the mayor had asked the FBI for help, but it appears this van is the only new federal help the city will be getting for now. We can tell you that the ATF has added 11 new agents in recent months. Live at City Hall, Mike Helgren, WJZ Eyewitness News. All right, thank you very much, Mike.